Hey, I'm James from Iconic, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our plugin WooCommerce Delivery Slots. First, let me explain what WooCommerce Delivery Slots is and how it works. WooCommerce Delivery Slots is a plugin you can use with your WooCommerce site, which is designed to help you take control of your delivery and pickup schedule. It works by allowing customers to select their own delivery or pickup time and date either before purchase in a reservation table or at the checkout. With WooCommerce delivery slots, you can customize every element of your delivery or pickup schedule to suit your capacity, from creating time slots based on zip or postcodes, to setting maximum orders and scheduling holidays and closed periods. So that's a quick overview of WooCommerce delivery slots, but let me demonstrate some of the key features for you. The first thing you'll want to do when setting up WooCommerce delivery slots is to select your delivery or pickup days. You can do that by coming into the settings, clicking date settings, and scrolling down to the delivery days section. So here you can check which days you offer delivery or pickup. You can then set the maximum number of orders. And you can create specific delivery days. For example, if you're not normally open on a Friday, you could add a Friday as a specific delivery day to override those settings. WooCommerce Delivery Slots has some advanced settings which you can also configure to fully define your calendar settings. For example, you can tell Delivery Slots to only allow the next selectable date to be two days from now and the maximum selectable date to be 14 days from now. You can obviously configure these settings based on your preferences but it gives you the flexibility to do that. On top of that, you can disable same day delivery if the current time is after a certain time, or you can disable next day delivery if the current time is after a certain time. You can choose to only allow deliveries within the current week, and you can configure the date format and also the last day of the week. On top of that, you can add fees depending on which day the customer chooses for delivery, and you can add additional fees on top of those to whether the customer chooses same day delivery or next day delivery. Moving on, delivery slots gives you the option to configure time slots, and these are optional, so you can run it with just allowing the customer to select a date at the checkout, or you can have them select a date and time at checkout. So time slots allow your customer to choose when they would like their order to be delivered, or when they'd like to pick up their order. You can enable the ASAP delivery setting, which lets them choose as soon as possible at checkout or you can go ahead and define specific time slots. These are flexible to configure in that you can set a slot duration, a slot frequency, a from time, and a to time. So for example, this setup would say, create 30 minute slots every 30 minutes between seven and 10 a.m. You can choose to allow bookings up to X minutes before the slot starts. So for example, we could say, allow bookings up to 30 minutes before the slot starts, which means that the 7 a.m. slot would be disabled after 6.30 a.m. on that day. You can assign these slots to specific shipping methods. You can add fees to whichever slot they choose, and you can determine on which days a slot would appear. So as you've seen, you can assign time slots to specific shipping methods. This is particularly useful if you only want to offer local delivery or you want to offer different slots depending on where the customer is located. One possible scenario is that you offer delivery and pickup and people can pick up every 10 minutes, but they can only choose for delivery every 30 minutes. So you could create time slots which have a duration of 10 minutes and a frequency of 10 minutes for pickup and assign it to the pickup method. And then you could create a secondary group of time slots which have a duration of 30 minutes every 30 minutes and assign it to the delivery method. As you can see, when I uncheck the any method, you get the list of all of your shipping methods here, organized by zone and then shipping method. As I've briefly mentioned, although the plugin is called WooCommerce Delivery Slots, you can also use this plugin for pickup slots as well. And you can quite easily change the wording uh, at checkout based on the shipping method that they select. So you can configure your default labels to always say delivery. And you can see here it says delivery details. 
But you can also have it change the wording depending on which shipping method they select. So for example, we could say here if they choose local pickup, we want it to say collection, and for anything else we want it to say delivery. If we save that and refresh the checkout, you'll see by default it says delivery details. If we choose local pickup, it changes it to collection details, collection date, and time slot. WooCommerce delivery slots can do all this and more. To find out what else delivery slots can do, take a look at some of our other user guides. Good luck and see you next time.